Hey YouTubers, um, so I just finished doing a kind of an overview of my system and I wanted to give you guys another video on the Ziva BMS system that I purchased. This is from a place in Australia that uh, I didn't want to get the Batrium. I don't like the long mods. I, I, to me, it, I think it's kind of ugly, but you know, personal preference. But I do like this one. So this is kind of a couple of pieces here. This is a touch screen. If you can see, it gives you the cell or the two different batteries that I've got. Shows the information, you know, shows all the cell voltages. Um, and you hit this and you can go back to the main screen. What's cool is, is it does show, or I'll say cool, but it's kind of a weird function, is that it's showing 24 cells. But the problem is, is that I'm running a 48 volt system, which is only a 12 cell setup. So I guess the way these BMSs work is they monitor all the cells as a whole, um, but it doesn't affect the operation at all. Because right now I'm, I'm only using the BMS for balancing. Um, for overcharge and undercharge, I'm using my main charge controllers to do all the work. Once I get all of my system changed, I am going to make some changes and have the BMS do some of the extra work. Um, I did not get the system that has the uh, shunt in it because I already had the shunt. And of course, once I got it, I realized I should have paid the extra 50 bucks or so to get the shunt model. I would just you know, provide my own shunt. Um, so this uses a CAN bus. Just a, basically a four wire setup. Comes down, goes through a wonderful hole there. It's connected to this is the actual BMS module for this Tesla battery. And then this BMS module is for this Tesla battery. They're both connected together. Basically it's all in, it's kind of one big daisy chain. It's got a resistor there for the end of line communications. So it goes one, two, three, four, and then up to on a different port off of here, goes up to the display. This module is, I've got a little switch here so that I can tell, it basically puts the system into idle so that you can make your changes. Because um, this BMS is actually meant for an electric vehicle. So you can enable charging, you can disable charging, um, you can enable running and disable running. But it was really easy. Uh, it was a little pricey, um, but I guess it all depends on what you're looking at. Since I spent a good chunk of change on those Tesla batteries, I did not want to destroy them. So that's why I, I paid the extra money for the BMS. Um, but it's really nice. I mean, if you let's see if I can get in there a little bit closer, it does have some nice features. It's got charge auxiliary control to tell when you're driving there's an led control there's a charge in function there's a buzzer and what's cool is it runs off 12 volts so all i did is i put a little uh a little thing here to convert 48 volts to 12 volts well technically 14 volts sorry it's upside down it's con changing it to 14 volts which then provide power to the bms so this means my BMS will always have power as long as my, my batteries are up, which is kind of cool. Um, it does keep the batteries fairly close. I'm not sure what the, um, I've, I, the balancing of the batteries. I've seen a lot of guys who try to make them perfect. But from what I've seen on some of these batteries, as long as you're like 0.1... 0.15 volts ah uh, you know cells are are off of each other really i haven't seen any issues at all um this one when it's all the way down to discharge end of discharge which is that i stop it at the 3.2 volts um those cells are usually like within 0.05 volts of each other all cells across all the battery er, um, both tesla packs um, upon charging though, what I've noticed when it gets to close to the max, because I stop at about 49.9 or so, because 50.2 is max for these batteries. 
um, is they'll be about 0.1 volt off, but I don't really see an issue with that because when I check these batteries, these have the, these have a different BMS that I bought, you know, from eBay. These are using the same BMS as, as this pack, but these have their own BMS, which um, I think Combat Engineer went through and and sh and did a whole video series on on these on the testing, and uh, their BMS cuts off a little bit early, so my Teslas will run down to about 3.2, give or take, point something volts. But these are weird. These will actually stop at like 3.3 volts. Um, and then upon recharge, they don't actually reach the full 50.2 volts. They'll stop at 48.5, 48.7 volts. So the Teslas will actually take a lot more charge. Um, because what will happen is these packs, when they're charging, actually shut off. Like they, they stop charging altogether. Um, they disable themselves. This one, I really haven't tested a little bit too much. Um, I was going to be in a hurry to put these together. So I just said, screw it, and I don't really care. Um, but for my, for, for my purposes, though, this works great. But um, I really should probably take these out and show you guys. But if you look here, it's got a flashing green and amber light. That means it's balance charging or balancing during whatever the event is, whether it's charging, discharging, um, and then I got to put this cover on too. This one is doing the same. What I found is if I set the volt, if I get the charge voltage all the way up to the 50.2, that this one reaches the voltage before this battery pack does. So this one will stop balancing. Um, doesn't hurt it because I mean, it almost all the cells on this pack are within like 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 volts of each other. This pack is a little bit different. This pack is about 0 0.05 volts between the different uh, banks or the different cells inside or the different uh, series, I guess you want to call it. <coughs> like I said, doesn't affect it. But what I have noticed is that um, I've done probably six or seven, I think I've done seven, seven discharges and I've done a bunch of different charging only because of the fact that I'm only really charging this off solar. So I have to have a really good day of sun to get these packs charged completely. Um, but since I've done the discharges, these packs are, are getting very, very close because originally they were like 0.2 volts off from this pack to this pack per cell. And now they're in, you know, if you see here, they're getting fairly close. I mean, they're, they're staying right where they should be. Um, so I, I can highly recommend this BMS. Like I said, this is my first BMS compared to these little crappy ones from eBay. Um, but what's cool is you can order these and it's kind of hard to see. So this one comes kind of as a kit already put together. I mean, the, the case is on and everything, but this one and then this one over here do not. You actually have to put your own, I'll say your own, but you can buy the kit. It's like 15 bucks. What, what I found out is it's uh, basically 3D printed items. Um, let's see if I can get enough room here. The cables are short on these. Oh yeah, it's warm. Sorry, I should probably turn the light on, but I don't care. Um, but it's kind of a rough overview. Once I redo my wiring and I uh, make some I say some major changes here. I'm going to redo the BMS setup where everything is kind of nicely put together. I'll do a better follow up video on how to program it, how to set it up. Um, I work full time, plus, I got three kids and a wife, and I got 40 other million things going on at the, the same time. So that's why my videos are few and far between. If you guys want to see something, let me know. Um, I don't have a, a butt ton of money, so it's not like I can buy toys all the time. But when I do, I try to buy things that I know I can fix, I can put together myself. Um, like I said, this is all DIY. I don't want to have to go pay somebody to put this crap together for me. I really like doing it myself. 
Um, another thing is, is this cool little camera here. This thing is awesome. Um, it's cheap. It was like 39 bucks or 29 bucks on Amazon. I think it's like E E W E link is the website. And what's cool is, is it basically captures this whole area and I can see it on my computer remotely. So I can, you know, basically see how much current I'm drawing. I can monitor the, the, the BMS and shut off the inverter if I need to. So, all right, well, you guys have a good one and, uh, you know, post some comments if you guys have questions or, you know, just a BS. Have a good one. Thank you.